Hello friends, welcome to the woods of Northern Arizona. I just got out here to spend a night or two camping, doing all sorts of photography. I have a lot of gear and I'm pretty much prepared for anything. Definitely some astrophotography. Tonight is the new moon, so hopefully the weather will hold out. There's a little bit of rain on and off in the forecast. And there's a couple of things that I want to do along the way. I'll, I'll be sharing photos and videos of my experience, but I also want to do kind of a mid-year check-in with you. And then I also have a few items, non-camera and lens things, that makes my life easier in photography in general, but also when I'm out camping with my photo gear. So I got to get some stuff out of the car, get camp a little bit set up here, and uh, it's going to be dinner time soon. There's not really a lot of setup to do since I'm sleeping in my car, <laughs> but I did get my table and chair set up with my charging station on it. More about that later. At the beginning of this year, Raymond and I shared a video where we talked about the changes that would be coming to the channel during this year. I will link to that video in the description below, but basically we realized that we needed to completely step away from the status quo. And that meant more creativity and going with my gut in terms of sharing more of my photography outside of the confines of gear reviews, sharing more guidance. My memberships changed completely. I was going to be releasing my complete courses to everyone on the channel throughout this year. More on that in just a minute. There was a lot more than that behind the scenes, but you can check out that video in the description if you're interested. But right now I'm going to relax a little bit, maybe eat my dinner, and start getting set up for tonight's astrophotography. All right, while well, I am setting up tripods in some of the couple of the places where I want to uh, do some astro tonight. I want to tell you about an app that I use that is one of those things that is extremely helpful for my photography. It is something that I use for sunrises and sunsets, and it's definitely something that I use for astrophotography. In fact, I used it earlier already, and I walked around the campsite and found where I wanted to set up my tripods. In the app, I can see the phases of the moon, when and where the sun and moon will rise and set, as well as the Milky Way. It's pretty detailed, too. I use it at home to plan, and then out in the field, there's an AR option that shows me where everything will be. I thought of another thing 
to mention that is something that helps me tremendously in my photography. And it's not something that you can really purchase, and that is dark skies. Dark skies are extremely beneficial when it comes to astrophotography. So you can purchase wide aperture lenses. I, I have an F, a couple of f1.4 lenses. I have an f1.2 lens here. You can use a camera that has really good high ISO performance. However, where I am right now, which is just outside of Flagstaff, Arizona, we have extremely dark skies. In fact, Flagstaff was the world's first dark sky community. Basically, it means that they are committed to keeping light pollution to a minimum. That extends out to outside of the city where I am. The update that I wanted to talk about right now is the complete courses. So at the beginning of the year, I said that my complete courses, which were previously for members only, would be released to everyone over the um, period of this year. There are five courses and I've already released two and one more is going to be released next week. I'll link to the playlist where I explain my courses in the description of this video so that you can hear my whole spiel about how I, how I like to teach. But the two courses that are live for everyone on the channel right now are the Basics of Photography course and the Beginner's Guide to Classic Portraiture. The course that will be released next week is my course on landscape photography. And then beyond that, there are two more courses. One is kind of a follow-on course to the landscapes course, and that one is all about nature photography. And then the last one is Raymond's short course on editing for impact. Even though I have stuff about editing in each one of my courses, it's just a little bit different. It's more from his perspective and how he does things quickly. So I'm gonna go wander around and see what I can come up with walking around what am i talking about i have to get uh images transferred off of the um off of the cameras right now the z7 and the z9 both have many images on them i think i got like 1200 each so i need to uh transfer all those and i need to charge the uh, z9 battery actually i can show you where is it where is it where is it where is it <laughs> my sorry i just want the microphone my um for the z7 i actually used that energy flex to power the camera all night with this kind of fake battery um this is a third party one i don't know i'll link to it in the description and uh basically you put this where the battery goes and then it plugs in to an ac plug like I have on that energy and it just powers the camera because the Z7 can't be powered through USB-C. It can be charged through USB-C but it can't be powered and be working um, with USB-C. That was one of the improvements that they did with the Mark II uh, but I didn't purchase the Mark II. I'm sticking with the Z7 because I still really like that camera. Um, I, so I used this for that, but then for the Z9, I just used its bigger battery to, uh, to go all night long. So I need to charge that and offload all of those images. I have my laptop, I have an external drive, <laughs> because what would camping be without my, you know, MacBook Pro and several SSDs? Luckily, I can also plug that computer into my Flex 1500. <laughs> I promise I will get to that and explain a little bit more about that later, but yeah, let's do it. The clouds are really starting to come in, so I am going to set up a time lapse with the uh, 14 to 30 millimeter f4 lens on the Z7 and I'm going to walk around a little bit with the Z9 and the 200 to 500 millimeter lens with the FTZ2 adapter. <clears throat> but before I do that, I wanted to share two other items that are that are non-camera items that are super helpful in my photography and they've really changed the way that I am able to um, execute my photography. It, it, th these things are all about the, the process of actually taking photos. And the first one is the new cotton carriers that I have. 
Uh, this is the harness. I also have the Scout. I will not talk any more about them because I did uh, recently share a whole video about them and I <laughs> went on and on about how much I like them. Uh, hey, when I get passionate about something, I get passionate about something. So the other thing that has changed how I do my photography is my favorite pack. It is the Atlas Athlete Pack. I have been using the first gen Atlas Athlete for years. I love it. I love how flexible it is. I, I love everything about it. I also have a video about that where I talked all about how much I love it. I will also link to that in the video or in the description. But they recently sent me their their updated version, which has what seem like relatively small updates, but they end up kind of making a big impact. If I didn't have these wonderful tools to help me with my photography, I just, you know, I wouldn't be able to do the thing that I love. So anyway, I'm going for a walk now. All right, it's time to charge the Energy Flex 1500. And it's time for me to finally start talking about it. So <laughs> I've mentioned already at least a couple of times that it is a huge help in my photography. I have been working with Energy. I've been an affiliate with Energy. I've been using their different models of these for years. We have gotten so much use out of each and every one. Even when I don't show you in my camping trips or even when I just go out for uh, time lapses, sunrises and sunsets, I often have this thing with me because it's just pretty easy to throw into my car and power my cameras, recharge anything. And um, you know, like I'm doing on this trip, I'm not only charging everything, numerous times. I'm also running my camp kitchen off of it. I'm running my laptop off of it because, you know, editing and transferring uh, thousands of time-lapse images takes a lot of battery power. So I am currently only charging with one solar panel, and that is, by the way, the new Ascent 100 panel. It is amazing because it's foldable and it comes in a little case and it has its own little stand built in. I feel like as I'm talking about it and as I am getting excited about it, because like I said, when I'm passionate about something, I wanna talk about it. <laughs> so um, I suspect that I should do um, an entire video about this thing and, and different ways that I've used it. I mean, I've used these things um, to power just studio lights outside when I've wanted to do photo shoots outside or um, do video shoots outside. So if you're interested in learning more about something like this, if you like to camp or RV or um, do time lapses, let me know because I can start putting something like that together. So there are different kits that you can get uh, that will get you started with a Flex 1500 and solar panels. I have the gold kit. It has this unit. It has three uh, of their base lights, which are just nice little lights to have around camp. They're not too bright, they're not too dim. And then I have, from the gold kit, four of the Ascent 100 solar panels. Like I said before, I am an affiliate with Energy. I have been an affiliate for years because I love them. <laughs> so I will put a link in the description to where you can learn more about this stuff. You can read all about it. You can read through the manual on their site. And I also have a discount code for you. So if you follow that link and use that code, you get a discount and I get a small commission, which is a win-win. Those types of things help me keep this channel up and running.
Well, friends, I'm gonna have to call it. <laughs> the storms are rolling in back here. It's getting pretty gnarly and lots of lightning and the thunder is getting louder and louder. So I'm going to, uh, yeah, I packed everything up and I'm gonna go ahead and head out and edit everything. And I suspect I'll be back out here in the next couple of weeks because um, it's just a beautiful time of year right now. So. Thank you to all of you for watching. Um, also, you know, one last thing that I wanted to say is uh, that I wanted to thank you all. <laughs> I wanted to thank you all for either sticking with me through these changes that the channel has been going through. Changes for the better, I think, but you know, maybe I'm not for everybody anymore. Um, and to any new subscribers as well, thank you. Um, speaking of subscribers, uh, if you do want to help out the channel, um, subscribing is a huge help. Liking videos and commenting on videos is a huge help with the YouTube algorithms um, and on social media as well. I, am, I probably focus the most on Instagram these days, but all of those things help with the business side, but it also helps me with my morale and Raymond's morale and when we know that something that we have worked hard on has hit home with you or that it speaks to you in some way that's incredibly gratifying so thank you to all of you who do let me know when things um, speak to you so anyway I gotta get out of here <laughs> thanks y'all for watching talk to you in the next one